Satoshi uh, Nakamoto did do a very good job of covering his tracks. It's a real testament to the anonymizing technology that's out there that he, that Satoshi, and we'll assume that it's a he for the moment. Um, well, hold on. You wrote an article this weekend in the Times about another guy. Pointing a big fa- finger that at somebody. you think yes. is him. I, I, I think the way I tried to position it very delicately is that within the Bitcoin community, if, when people put their money on somebody, it's usually the same person. And, and that person is a guy um, named Nick, Nick Zabo who's been involved in the effort to create virtual currencies for like 20 years, over 20 years. And um, it's, this, is not a, this is not a definitive thing. I wasn't saying this is Satoshi, but um, we've gone through a lot of different guesses as to who Satoshi is. A lot of people have looked into it. Um, and we've kind of been left with a lot of people assuming that it's Nick. Now, Nick, I should be very clear, denies, denies it, as you would expect Satoshi to do, but as you might also expect Nick to do if he wasn't Satoshi. So you, <laughs> you can see my, uh, the, 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 the headspace that you quickly <laughs> occupy as you begin to contemplate this. So you've been emailing with this guy for a long time. I did, yeah, from 2010 until he left in... March or April of 2011, yeah. Do you think you know who he is? I don't know. Do you think you've met him? Uh, probably. I, mean, I like to think that he would have gone to a Bitcoin conference or, or uh, you know, hung out with other Bitcoiners. Does it matter who he is? There's a, there's a fascination, a grand fascination with this, this character. And was that, you think, done on purpose? I don't think it was done on purpose. I don't think Satoshi like, meant to create uh, some interesting creation myth. Although I actually think it doesn't hurt Bitcoin that we have this interesting creation myth of, you know, mysterious founder. I think he just it doesn't want public spotlight, public attention. It's not been helpful to a lot of the alternative, alternative uh, digital currencies that the founders of those currencies are known and have amassed very large positions. And I think that one of the things that Satoshi, in hindsight, did well was... Uh, to not be known, and he has a there's a there's a large block of Bitcoin that is his, um, but people know it's his, and it's sitting there. And if he were ever to do something with it, I think that would be a, a momentous occasion. 